Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Like subscribe and share to help support the channel. Pick up your free trial copy of the Currency Exchange Planner and check out the all-new Currency Exchange Planner Companion, voted the number one pre- and post-RV planning tool for the Dinar and cryptocurrency communities. Also, download your free blockchain-based Secure Brave browser and the free Pi Crypto Mining application for your phone and get paid in cryptocurrency for doing what you normally do anyway. Your time is of value, isn't it time you get paid for it? You can take advantage of these and other valuable programs in the description below. First article of interest for today. The Pope calls for cancelling the debts of the poorest countries. Pope Francis called today, Sunday, to reduce or cancel the debts of poor countries and alleviate the international sanctions imposed on some countries, calling for Europe's solidarity in the face of the emerging coronavirus. In his Easter message he read at St. Peter's Basilica devoid of worshippers in the shadow of domestic stone, the Pope wished, the easing of international sanctions that prevent the countries subject to them from providing adequate support to their citizens, and called for international solidarity by reducing if not cancelling debts that weighs heavily on the budgets of the poorest countries. Pope Francis called for an immediate and comprehensive ceasefire in the ongoing conflicts in the world to confront the new outbreak of the coronavirus. The Pope prayed that those who bear responsibility in conflicts should have the courage to support the call for an immediate and comprehensive ceasefire all over the world. Next article of interest. al Fatah. the Kurds have put difficult conditions for negotiations on forming a government. On Monday, the al Fatah alliance confirmed that the Kurdish component presented conditions for negotiation and the passage of al Qasmi's government excluded its application including raising the region's share in the 2020 budget to 17% and the application of Article 140. The deputy, al Fatahain and al qaeda said to information that the negotiations and dialogues of candidate Mustafa Al-Qazemi forming the government were launched and research is underway on the names of the candidates. He added that, the Kurdish side set conditions excluded from the application to support the al qazemi government, including Article 140 and the chapter on Kirkuk and Peshmerga salaries. He explained that, the Kurds stipulated raising the region's budget in 2020 to 17% when it was approved and demanding a number of sovereign ministries, led by the Ministry of Finance. Cato emphasized that these conditions are impossible to implement and incapable of being harmful to the interests of the country, making it difficult for al qasemi to form his government smoothly. Next article of interest. The Iraqi dinar is falling apart, corruption and corona are jumping in dollars. The turmoil in the Iraqi dinar exchange rate against the dollar recently led to negative effects, which directly affected the business sector and commodities in the markets which led to the loss of confidence of dealers and investors in the monetary authority. The decline of the dinar came after the Central Bank of Iraq stopped its activities related to pumping liquidity in foreign exchange to meet the needs of banks and their customers, as it was pumping an average of $140 million or more per day to maintain the value of the currency and support its stability and stopping the pumping of liquidity led to a jump in the exchange rate of $1 from 1200 to 1280 Iraqi dinars, amid warnings of the continuation of this rise due to the curfew imposed by the authorities as part of the procedures to face the outbreak of the corona epidemic. In the midst of the financial crisis experienced by the world in general and Iraq in particular in light of the collapse of oil prices and the large deficit in the budget for 2020, the government faces great economic challenges, most notably the difficulty that the central bank can maintain the value of the dinar against the dollar because of the corrupt control of the auction of selling currency, according to what officials and economists see. In an interview with the New Arab, an official and the caretaker government said that the central bank cannot maintain the value of the Iraqi dinar against the dollar by continuing to pump the hard currency to the market because of the lack of public revenues due to weak demand for oil and the decline in its price. That, the central bank will have to legalize the sale of the currency for a certain period until oil prices rise again. And Iraq, 
the second largest producer of crude oil in the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, with an average daily production of 4.5 million barrels per day. The official, who preferred to remain anonymous, added that, continuing to hold auctions to sell currency and pump tens of millions of dollars per day to preserve the value of the dinar leads to great risks for the country's economy, and it is better for the central bank to cancel the currency auction and install its local currency, since most of the beneficiaries are of these auctions are not businessmen and merchants, but banks, banks and private sector companies dominating the market, a large part of which has been transferred out of Iraq. He pointed out that the central bank has succeeded in recent years in achieving the stability of the dinar exchange rate and improving it in relation to the dollar and other currencies by stabilizing the price of the local currency and defending it, but the current collapse in oil prices, and consequently, the country's financial returns are completely different from the crises of past years. According to the official, there are daily discussions to reach a roadmap that enables the country to maintain an acceptable exchange secret of the dinar against the dollar. The central bank sells between $140 and $160 million to public and private companies and banks, as part of a plan adopted since 2004 to control the exchange rate of the dinar and prevent its collapse in the market. The central bank only allows companies and limited banks to enter the auction and buy dollars amounting to less than 50 banks and financial companies that are licensed by the central bank, all of which are private or private. For his part, Professor of International Economic Relations at the Iraqi University, Abdul Rahman al Masadani, said in an interview with The New Arab that cancelling the currency auction is very difficult, because the goal of the currency window is to finance imports in the private sector. According to al Masadani, 90% of the country's consumer needs are secured by import by the private sector, which means that cancelling the currency auction will lead to a major disruption in the prices of imported goods. Al Masadoni stressed that, the currency auction is a drain on foreign exchange due to its association with prominent political figures, pointing out that 15% of central bank sales through the auction go as money laundering in various ways and methods and are transferred outside of Iraq. He pointed out that the best way for the central bank to follow is to legalize the sale of hard currency as much as possible to maintain the value of the dinar in foreign exchange reserves. For its part, Ayat Muzaffar, a member of the Iraqi parliament from the Victory Coalition led by former Prime Minister Haider al-Abadi, attributed the causes of the economic collapse and the value of the dinar against the dollar to the wrong financial policies pursued by the Adel Abdul Mahdi government. Muzaffar said, in an interview with the New Arab, that bad management and fiscal policy floundering the head of the caretaker government, Adel Abdul Mahdi, and its indiscriminate spending on the state budget, is one of the main reasons that led to the economic collapse of Iraq, and to an unprecedented financial deficit is expected to it is, if oil prices continue to decline, about 80 trillion dinars. She explained a member of the Iraqi parliament that the central bank spent a large part of the cash reserve for the purpose of stabilizing the dinar price against the dollar, which led to the depletion of the cash reserve, and then the central bank will lose over time its ability to maintain the par value of the dinar. She added that, the confusion in the government's performance seemed clear when the head of the crisis cell spoke about the possibility of Iraq resorting to printing the currency noting that the printing of the currency is based on three reasons, either that there is a frayed currency to print as a substitute for it, or because of an economic recovery that is printed an easy amount until there are surplus sums that increase the demand for goods and services so that the producers increase the production. As for the other reason, according to Muzaffar, the printed currency must be equal to the national product, while stressing the need to preserve the monetary reserve of the central bank through its reliance on a flexible policy that takes into account the emerging political and economic conditions of the country. And at the end of last March, the rapporteur of the Parliamentary Finance Committee, Ahmed al-Safar, said that the central bank reserves reached $87 billion, and it does not include cash and foreign currency only, but it includes gold bars. Next article of interest economist. The Iraq Stock Exchange needs a major review.
The economist Manor Alubadi explained the details of the reality of buying and selling operations in the Iraq Stock Exchange. He said in a statement, Al Sumeria News received a copy of it. The number of companies listed on the Iraq Stock Exchange in its last dealings reached 116 companies with a market value of 11.6 trillion dinars, where 53 companies were traded in the regular market while 27 companies were traded in the second market. Shares of 36 companies are trading in 2019. He added, the market did not achieve more than 2.84% of the value of shares traded, which is considered very low compared to the markets of neighboring countries, which has a rate of 10%. Note that some active markets reach the ratio to more than 100%. He continued, the banking sector occupied the largest percentage of shares traded, as the banking sector accounted for 82% of the total sector, followed by the industrial sector at 11%, while the rest of the sectors as a whole did not achieve a percentage of more than 6%. And that, the Iraqi market for securities, despite being a major pillar in the economies of many countries, needs a major review of the market performance, as the financial markets are an attractive destination for investment in all countries and a system to withdraw chunky money, which is estimated at about $13 billion, according to central bank statistics. al Obeidi stressed that, the weakness of the market is due, despite the fact that there is a real desire among all small and large investors, due to several factors including the market's inability to market investment in the Iraqi market in addition to the weakness of the market in putting pressure on listed companies to launch their shares instead of listing them in most of them within the boards of directors, in addition to the market's inability to attract private sector companies and shareholding companies to include in the market as a result of poor marketing and weak ability to persuade those companies in listing. Ayubedi called the management of the market to keep pace with modern technologies that allow easy trading through electronic platforms and work to develop the current capabilities of the market and raise the market to the level of the markets of neighboring countries. Hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted as more videos are posted. Check out the Denarian blog, Facebook and Twitter as I update daily on those platforms as well. I listed the links below. Pick up your free trial copy of the newly upgraded Currency Exchange Planner and check out the all-new Exchange Planner Companion. Use the promo code, the Denarian, to get 25% off at checkout when you decide to unleash the full planner's abilities, along with the mobile application added free for a limited time. Don't forget to download the Pi application and start mining cryptocurrency for free on your cell phone today. The links to these and other invaluable programs are all available in the description box below this video. Knowledge is power. Using that knowledge is powerful. Over and out for now. The Denarian.